Okay, welcome everybody. My name is Joe. Um, I just played a match against a really great opponent on Naya Company. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't recording, but uh, we're going to play another match. Um, I'll keep. I lost the first match. Um, but I wanted to... S oh, he changed his deck. I asked him if he could play the same one. Well, this is fun. Affinity against a good opponent. We'll see We'll see how this goes. So let's see. He played Glimmer Void, plays Signal Pest. These two turn Mox Opal on, and he plays that. All right. I thought I was playing against Naya Company, but it's just cranial plating all day. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we're taking two and two is four. We'll go down to 16. You can even attack with Spellskite next turn. All right. Here, I think we play out the. Harbinger. We've got lands and creatures, and uh, we don't necessarily need to draw cards off of Silvergill Adept right now. Well, that gains us a tiny bit of time. I assume if the opponent had Cranial Plating, he would have played it last turn instead of Spellskite. That's what Affinity is trying to do. Ornithopter probably followed up with Seal Overseer. Followed up with Vault Scourge and an empty hand. All right, well, we can play Mara Regery and then hopefully draw another land and play a lot of creatures the following turn. Um, attacks with Spellskite. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... So let's see. I think I get plus one, plus O. Oh. So I'll draw an arrow to Spellskite and take two. Okay. We're getting hit pretty hard next turn. Just doing our best. Do we bother to attack here? Because we might want to block next turn. Um, block Spell Skite, no problem. Block Mem Knight. But we still want to get some damage in. We also need to prevent damage. Um, he's gaining life with the Vault Scourge all the time. So let's see, next turn is going to be two, three, four. Plus the Overseer. I don't know. Okay. So if we draw a land, um, we could play a Regery and Silvergill. Um, if we draw another Merfolk, we could play a second Silvergill. Let's see what happens. Springleaf Drum. All right, well, not super amazing, but the Steel Overseer is going to make everybody big. Can't even block a Spellskite. I'm just going to take a lot of damage here. Not quite lethal, but it's certainly enough to be lethal next turn. These are all, there's no redundant creatures, so even Echoing Truth doesn't really do very much. I'm going to take three, and one is <clears throat> four, plus two is six, plus two is eight, um, plus three is eleven, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Yeah, so we're toast. Let's just see what we draw. Hmm. Good game. Game two. Okay, so counter spells are too slow in this matchup. We need all gas all the time. So we're bringing in the Hercules Recalls, um, leaving in all our creatures, taking out... Well, Spreading Seas is decent, but we don't want all of them. Mm. Two is okay. Curse Catcher is not amazing. And we can hedge on Aether Vial. Um, increases the variance a little bit. Mm. Yuck. Looks like the opponent has lost connection to the game. 
Um, okay, he restored connection. I think I have to mulligan this as obnoxious as it is, and this is better. Well, all right, we go to the first main and play a land. So next turn, Silvergill, Hercules Recall for when we need it. Hopefully it won't be too soon. It wasn't the most explosive start in the world. Master of Waves. I forgot we typically cut back on that guy a little bit, but um, still have four of them in the deck right now, I think. We'll reveal the Regery since he's probably coming next turn and draw a card. Okay. So we have lands to play, the Master of Waves. Um, we have a Mutavault for a creature. Another Signal Pest. What else? Another Opal. Two mana. Two mana plus this one. Okay, four mana total this turn. So other artifacts are getting plus one plus one. Uh, this guy is attacking for one, and I take one. Okay. <clears throat> so he knows we have the Regery. So I think we'll play. These signal pests are going to make everything pretty big. This will be two. This will be two. This will be six. That's ten already. Um, can't even attack. Master of Ethereum is pretty good in this spot. But we cannot use our Hercules yet. We need to let the opponent extend a little bit further. We can play this, reveal Regery, and play the Regery. And I guess end the turn. Wow. Okay, so he is uh, he's playing those artifacts. This guy is a 6-6 um, six, six now, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. And these guys are two each, so four plus eight is twelve. Is that right? Wow. Well, another Hercules recall would be good in this spot, but we don't get it. Are we dead to signal pests next turn? Um, six unblockable in the air. This guy's even a one five. That's pretty disgusting. We only have two Devotion on the table right now. Um, if we attack with Mutavault, he's just a 3-3. Three, three. Um, we can't leave all these guys here right now. Um, hmm. If we play... He hasn't played a land since Glimmer Void. Um, if we bounce his stuff now, he definitely loses Glimmer Void. Um, he only has one card in hand anyway. We can bounce his stuff and attack. I think that's probably our best, best option here. So that's eight. It's a good start. Okay, it's possible he didn't draw a land, in which case he's rather limited. Next turn we can play a Master of Waves. Um, let's see, he didn't use the Opal. And we keep drawing lands, so... This is not much fun. We need to draw Hercules Recall in our next draw step. Well, 
or we'll just lose. All right, so Master of Waves comes in. Makes a couple guys. Let's activate Mutavault. Oh, Opal is not online, of course, so he couldn't use uh, he couldn't use the Opal last turn. I was thinking he was holding up uh, some kind of spell. All right, so it's quite possible that the Hercules Recall has gotten us there this game. Good game. It's literally um, so. Master of Waves was pretty decent actually there. Um, I want to take him out. Let's take one of those guys out. Bring Curse Catcher back in as an earlier uh, drop, and Hercules makes uh, Spreading Seas less necessary than usual because we get rid of his blockers. All right, well, we got a we got a hand that can compete, I think. Let's hope that he doesn't have uh, the absolute nuts. Did he? Oh, okay, he plays a land. <laughs> man, so uh, as a oh man, that's pretty strong. All right, so he takes the Hercules Recall, but we have three more. Well, presumably he'll take the Hercules Recall. He has only these three zero, um, zero drops right now. Not very threatening, but the Thought Tease is already starting to chip at his life total. Uh, we've got a handful of three drops right now with two lands. We'd really like to hit a two drop. I haven't been seeing a lot of Silver Gills lately. That guy would be most welcome right now. Three mana, maybe Master of Ethereum. Pretty frightening. Okay, he's getting in. Four poison and one regular damage. All right, it's an interesting hand he's keeping. Let's see if we can draw some good cards here. Mm. Oh, we can attack into the Ornithopter. That's a little bit frustrating. Um, we can represent, maybe, that we've got some kind of trick. I wasn't going to block with the Curse Catcher anyway here. And if I was, I have another one to block with. So uh, activating the Ink Moth again. Um, he can buff it now, I guess, if he wants to. Okay, he does make it bigger. It's a pretty slow game, but... Um, now, we can put a Flying Blocker down. He can make it a 2-2. But that's about it, and we would we would totally block that guy, I think. Um, or do we play a Rejury? Hmm. I think Kira is better in this spot. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So we're at three poison. He can buff twice now, which will make it a three-three. Um, to only put us at six poison, we can still block. Um, okay, he's not attacking. I wonder why. Okay, let's play a. Maybe he's got a whip flare or something like that. Although he would have just played it, right? So, um, hmm. So, we can play the Rage. Make our dudes a little bigger. All right. This becomes 2-2. Two, two. So he can activate two lands and block with two lands if he wants to. Um, but I think... Hmm. This is a really interesting game. I think we might just pass here. I don't. If he had Whip Flare, he would have played it, but. Hmm. I mean, I can. Hmm. The only way you could win against Affinity is by playing faster than them. Um, so, 
I think I want to play the Curse Catcher here. And I'll tap down his Ornithopter or his land, I guess. Um, okay, well, we tap. Okay, well, he activates one of his dudes. This is a 2 2. He can buff this if he wants to um, exactly once, but then we would be trading. Um, Hmm. That's okay. I think we can just end our turn. Master of Waves would be pretty good here. Still wouldn't be sad to see uh, Hercules Recall. Okay, Ravager is always a little bit scary. Do have Kira to block if he tries to dump all of his counters onto Ink Moth Nexus. Um, so he can pump it once right now just to trade. If he can like, if he wants to sack sack, then um, if I don't block, he can sack 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 sack. That's five. One, one two, three, four. To him making it five total sack under this it becomes six. We're still alive. Thinking, letting him know that we're thinking. Uh, we want our damage. So how much can we do next turn? We play this, untap a muta vault, um, and get in for. Let's see. Let's do the math. Muta vault. It would be three plus eight is eleven plus two is thirteen. Probably not lethal. If we attack just with these two guys, that's six, eight. Um, plus six, okay, this is six, eight, plus six is 14, plus that is 16, so close. Let's make sure we're doing this right. It's one, two, three, four, sacked onto this for five counters, five go on top of this guy, making him a six, and I'll go up to nine. That's fine, I'll leave our blocker. Hmm, leave up blocks for next turn. Let's see what he does here. I'm pretty sure we have live draws uh, for lethal if he just sacks all of his stuff here. Okay, well, we'll just take one. Doesn't want to sack anything. How strange. Lord? Just about the furthest possible thing from a lord. Oh, very disappointing. All right, so now we should hopefully be outside of Whip Flare range. Um, okay, my guys are three threes now. We need some attacks here. So this will be, next turn we have to block with Kira. So this is a four four and we can attack with Curse Catchers, and the Muta Vault, and thinking on if I want to attack with the Rage. Um, if we want to attack with that guy, we push more damage, but we might want to leave two blockers up just in case. Uh, I think we'll, we're good to go next turn with damage, so let's see what the opponent has. Okay, so blocking and I guess sacking. Taking 7, from 17 down to 10. Is he going to sack? Okay, so he's sacking. Blocking and sacking. Those guys are toast. Um, can bring these guys back and go ahead and end the turn. Another blink moth. 
Um, there's still only one source of infect here. So he has activated his ink moth nexus. Sure, he's thinking. Um, but we don't know what the card is in his hand. Hard to know what it could be that could make him win through the situation here. I mean, cranial plating doesn't have a lot of artifacts and we'll just he has to use mana, which is already going to be used to buff this guy. I don't even know how big this guy can get right now. So if he sacks this, goes up to four counters. Um, at a certain point, it was five artifacts. Maybe I miscounted. So he'll go up. If he sacks this, this will go to four. Wait, what? Okay, so he's activating this guy and attacking. And I'm gonna block. Well, let's, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna block for sure. Okay, he's sacking the Arcbound Ravager to put three counters. Um, Oh, no, no, wait. Yeah, Ravager had three. He had the initial one plus the two from last turn. So that was three. Okay, so Kira's going to die. And then the opponent has one card in hand. Aether Vile is doing absolutely nothing for us. Okay, so he might have something like a, a, Gal a Galvanic Blast, I guess. But he currently doesn't have Metalcraft online. He could activate, activate, and then he has enough mana to cast. So it's still online, it's still available. That is just about the best possible draw. Um, I think that we'll play this on tap our two lands, and he'll probably just have to scoop. Well, he's got blocks, I guess. <laughs> okay, he's got blocks with ink moths. So let's see. All of these guys are 4-4s. Four How many can he block? I'm not even going to count. Maybe two? Maybe th three? Two, I think. Let's see. Well, that was a good draw. A good draw after a bad draw. All right, well, that's another win against Affinity. We've been doing decently. And it was a nice opponent. So always like to see that. So I was saying we've been doing pretty well. I've been doing pretty well against Affinity lately. The four Hercules recalls feel really good. Um, we tend to lose the first game. Uh, and fortunately, uh, managed to win games two and three. So once again, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.